Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to keep the introduction short, but we're basically going to be making some banana bread. My mom has a lot of this overripe bananas in her freezer, so we're turning that into banana bread. So let's get to baking. Alright, so I scaled out twice the amount of this recipe. Unless you want to make a big batch like I did, go ahead and scale out 170 grams of overripe bananas. Yes, I know it looks gross, but trust me, using overripe bananas makes a big difference. The riper your bananas are, the more flavorful and moist your banana bread will be. Okay, next ingredient, you're going to need 142 grams of sugar. I usually use brown sugar, but I'm running low, so... I use some granulated to fill up what I'm missing. Next, you're going to need 2 grams of vanilla and 2 eggs. You're also going to need 95 grams of melted butter and 170 grams of all-purpose flour, 5 grams of baking soda, 48 grams of milk, and 48 grams of buttermilk. Now, before we start mixing, make sure to preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's get started. Okay, first you need to mix your sugar and your bananas together. My bananas were pre-frozen, so they're really soft and I don't need to mash them beforehand. Next, add your eggs one at a time. Make sure to scrape that bowl after you add those eggs. So now we're going to add one third of our flour and alternate it with half of our liquid ingredients. So that's milk, buttermilk, and your melted butter and scrape after each addition. So now I added half of my flour and the rest of my liquid. I scrape and add the rest of the flour. Oh, you get the idea. Next step is totally optional. Here I added some toasted walnuts. You can add like toasted pecans or chocolate chips if you like and pour it into your greased pans. Oh, the recipe I gave you by the way should have enough for this two pans. I'm adding more walnuts to the top for more flavor and also to make it look pretty. And in the oven it goes. Baking time all depends on how big your containers are. Those small ones that we just made, I baked them for about 30 minutes. And now we wait. Whenever you're baking something in general, the time given by the recipe is usually just a guideline. Like what I said earlier, that kind of depends how big your containers are and how hot your oven is. So always double check by inserting a toothpick. If it comes out clean, that means it's ready. And there you have it. Soft, moist, and flavorful banana bread. Easy to make, right? If you have any requests or ideas on what we should make next, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye!